10 times zoom. This will be one magazine per target. Safety catch off. This is the top left hand target. Slight count on the rifle according to the bubble. Same target again. Oh, that one went through a bit of right. Slightly down and slightly left. But still in the black. No problem. A little bit low, but still in the black. Almost through the third hole, I believe. And again, pretty close. And that was another stray shot. Went out of the black altogether. Live with it, it happens. Not all shots will hit the target. Pretty good. And that was a dry fire. I might just move the elevation up one notch. Change of magazine. And now we'll have a go at the top right hand target. Not at all. Still in the black area, which is quite pleasing. Most of these seem to be going through pretty much the same hole. Might have to move that elevation down a notch again. May have overdone it. But we'll empty this magazine to that top right hand target just to see what happens. That one was a, a touch low. Probably my fault, but. Roofing is still good. Pretty much the same hole again. As you can see that grouping isn't too bad at all. One or two of these going through the same hole. of millimetres low but not to worry the targets do tear quite a bit so the hole tends to look la rather larger than it actually is and that was a dry fire on that target change of magazine again
might just move the elevation down one click. There we go. And we'll now have a go at the bottom left hand target. Not bad. Little bit of windage there in the way, but not to worry about. Second shot. Pretty much down the same hole again. I might move the windage to the right one notch. There we go. See if that makes a difference. Same bottom left on target. One well, notch of wind is different. Doesn't make that much difference at that distance. Once again. They're not too bad at all. I'm not counting the shots, so I really don't know how many I've put down range. I'll just wait until I end up with a bank fire. These are going pretty much in the same area. Can't complain at that. Mrs. Tin Can says that that's probably the last shot, but we'll have a go anyway. Ooh, Mrs. Tin Can was wrong. I think that was probably the last shot. <laughs> And they're going pretty much in the right direction. And that was a black fire. Safety back on. Replace the magazine. Magazine number four. Safety off. And now we'll have a go at the bottom right hand target. That one was a little bit low, I think. In fact, I pulled the trigger before I intended to. Things like that happen as well. Unfortunately, there are a lot of people out there who don't actually explain when things go wrong. They only like to show things when they go right. But I'll show everything. Bottom right hand target again. Too shabby. Pretty much through the same hole, slightly high, slightly left, but nothing to worry about. Again, slightly left, but still in the black. Just adjust the windage back to the right slightly. A couple of clicks. Try that. Same target but with two clicks to the right on the windage. See what happens here. Not a lot of difference. Pretty good centre though. They're hitting the grouping quite well, I think. Seems to have a lovely hoverfly buzzing around the rifle at the moment, as you can probably hear. And that was a, another blank fire. Safety on. Change of magazine.
Last magazine going in. Sage you back off. And we'll have a go at the centre target. See what happens with this one. Last target of the session. Oh, pretty pleased with that. Very slightly low, but pretty much central. Doesn't really get much better than that, I don't think. For a rifle at 25 meters, I think anyone will be pleased with that kind of shot. And that one. The Rotex RM8 seems to work quite nicely between 150 and 200 bar. At 200 bar, it's kind of a little bit unpredictable, but now we've dropped down to about 150 bar, you can tell that we're actually hitting pretty centre. Same with that shot. As you can tell, the rifle has now reached its sweet spot of pressure and accuracy. I'll take a photo of the um, pressure gauge afterwards and upload that as well just so you can see where it is at the moment. And as you can tell these are very accurate shots now. One slightly to the right, but I had the rifle cant canted then, as I've just noticed from the bubble. And that was the last dry shot. Put the safety on, recock, remove the magazine, put the bolt forward, dry fire, the last shot, and safety back on. And now we'll go and collect everything back up. Here is the sound recorder, which I'll show you later. Collect the sound recorder. Here we go. As you can tell, I've now got a video recording me walking back up the garden and the sound recorder recording me as well. Put that down. Turn the sound recorder off. Thanks for watching. <laughs>